Hello again everyone. In this video tutorial we are going to solve this given quadratic equation by completing the square. And one thing you can see over here that the constant term is missing. And before we solve this quadratic equation I have put down simple and easy alternative method right up here as you can see. You can use this method by just simply factoring out x and then solve for x as you can see over here really super easy but sometime if uh, your professor or your teacher asks you that you must do it only this method by completing the square then you can do this one so let's go ahead and get started right now our leading coefficient is 5. We want to make sure it must be 1. So we want to divide by 5. So if we divide this one by 5, I'm going to divide this one by 5 as well across the board. So far so good. So 5 and 5 cancels out. So we got 1x squared minus 7 over 5x equal to 0. So your next step is I want you to look at this coefficient of x which is 7 over 5. Don't worry about this negative sign. We are only interested in 7 over 5. Now I want you to divide this one by 2. Dividing by 2 is same as multiplying by 1 over 2. So that is going to give us 7 over 5. 10. So whatever this number we got, you must square it. So we got 7 over 10 squared. So whatever this quantity is, I'm going to add to both sides of this equation. So let's go ahead and do that step. So x squared minus 7 over 5x plus equal to 0 plus, now I'm going to add this quantity 7 over 10 square and 7 over 10 square on this side as well. If you look at the left hand side, this represents a complete square of x minus 7 over 10 square. Now you might be wondering how did we get that one? So let me just show you this x showed up right up here this 7 over 10 showed up right up here this negative sign came right up here so equals to we got 7 over 10 square now we want to move we want to solve for x so we must remove this square so to undo square, we must take the square root on both sides. So this is what I'm going to do. This square and square root, they undo each other. This square and square root undo each other. We got x minus 7 over 10 equal to plus or minus 7 over 10. So far so good. So let's go ahead and now I want you to move this negative 7 over 10 on the other side because we want to isolate x. So x equal to this negative 7 over 10 when you move it on the other side become positive 7 over 10 positive or negative 7 over 10. So far so good. Now I want you to split these positive and negative sign up. So we're going to have 7 over 10 plus 7 over 10 and the other side is 7 over 10 minus 7 over 10. So if you add this thing 10 is our common denominator 7 plus 7 equals to 14 over 10. So our x turns out to be equals to 7 over 5 as one of our solution and on this side these two cancels out so we got x equal to 0 another solution.
Thus our solution set turns out to be a 0 comma 7 over 5 and that is our answer. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.